one day as I was like cleaning out the back, I found these buckets of color. They were all in Japanese and I'm like not a very strong Japanese reader. I didn't know anything about it, so I didn't know how much to use. And then me being a little stingy, I just sprinkled some color on some clay. One of the stipulations of when I was going to take over the studio, I was told that I have to learn in Japan. So I did a little apprenticeship under the guidance of my sensei Nishimura-san. He wasn't impressed with anything I did. For like a few months, I would just take like eight hours straight every day, just like wedge clay, throw things. One day it would be like a thousand sake cups. Next day I'll be like a hundred tea bowls. I found a book in Japan about how to narikomi, and I thought that was like my Bible when I first found it, and I was obsessed with it. And then I went through the steps in the book of like how to do specific patterns. I found the patterning to be a little bit boring. There was no like motion in it. It was just very flat to me. I just progressed from there and then saw what would happen if I cut clay a different way. And then I didn't follow the pattern and then slowly I just fell away from everything that I learned. Going through the steps of each one in the book was a good eye-opener for me to like learn how to narikomi, which I think I did learn how to do. Narikomi process means taking different colored clays and creating a new form of pattern from that. My signature pieces are mainly the cups, so I already know that I need a rectangle form. So from there I would think of how I want to lay out some pieces. So I don't really have much of a process, it's just, let me just see how things go. It's just part of the road of exploration. For me right now, it's just everything kind of wild west. It's just part of my learning. I just have to try it. And I kind of like jump back and forth between the oversaturated of color, just wild wild, to like really, really simple things. Like I can't have like all over color. It has to be like a little bit empty and then colorful. I'm just like people, you know? I was really fortunate to like have this place because almost everybody that comes through the door, it's like I would not meet them on my own time. It's just a group of various backgrounds of people with a similar interest. People from different walks of life can come and then we can all share a meal together. 